Hi there movie lovers, and as every Monday here on Film Is Now, we are taking an in-depth look into the lives and careers of some of the most loved names in the film industry. Some may be well-known stars that have been on the scene for decades, while others may be less known names on the rise. In any case, we are here to analyse all the various paths that led them to where they are now, their works and future projects. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest news in the world of cinema, and with all the movie-related material we post every day here on Film Is Now, make sure to subscribe and to tap the notification bell to be updated with notifications across all your devices. The person we will be speaking about today is one who has earned over 100 screen credits during his three decades of work. He has starred in countless blockbuster hits as well as indie works, and all the way to 2019, he still remains one of the biggest poster faces on the scene. We are speaking, of course, of Keanu Reeves. Although many know him for some of his more recent projects, such as portraying hitman John Wick, his career started all the way back in the 80s, and over the course of time, he has delivered one successful film after the others, as well as a series of side projects which range from playing music to writing books. Reeves' successful and broad-ranging artistic career was influenced by an eclectic variety of different cultures, interests, influences, all of which opened his mind right from a young age. As a matter of fact, Keanu has an interesting multicultural background, as he was born in Lebanon, from an English mother, and a Chinese Hawaiian father, with his name meaning cool breeze over the mountains in the Hawaiian language. Although his agents later wanted to change his exotic name to something they could believe could be more captivating, proposing the name of Chuck Spadina, luckily Keanu proudly stuck with his origins, and grew up influenced by Asian style and cuisine, but also learning the British manners. Throughout his childhood, he moved to Sydney, New York, and and Canada, all places which inspired him in different ways. Unfortunately, Reeves met his father only briefly during his childhood as he abandoned the family, and he also had trouble with the law, ending up being incarcerated for selling heroin at airports in Hawaii. Like many Hollywood stars, even Reeves' career wasn't an immediate rise to success, and during his younger years, he had to work a series of smaller jobs to support himself, including serving at a pasta restaurant. During this time, his career actually seemed to be set for music, as he played in a band called Dogstar, who even opened for Bon Jovi and ended up playing at the famous Glastonbury Festival. Although his main occupation later became something else entirely, music has always maintained an important spot in Keanu's heart. When he actually started acting, as many performers, his first roles were in theatre productions and in various commercials, including some for big brands such as Coca-Cola, with a famous 1983 advertisement spot in which he played a cyclist thirsty for some cola. He also appeared in a failed Nickelodeon show called Going Great, but nothing big was on the horizon. He later on went to stay with his Hollywood resident stepfather Paul Aaron, who was a film director and who would let young Keanu hang around on set, carry out odd jobs, and also appear in some productions. This, combined with him having trouble at school and changing five institutes in four years, led him to attend in an alternative school, which allowed him to combine acting with his education. This was the actual beginning of his real and proper acting career, as he appeared in some productions such as Young Blood and River's Edge. He later started in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which went on to become an 80s cult classic, it generated TV spin-offs, video games, and ever since its release, the Universal Studios, Hollywood and Orlando have featured a Halloween special with its two main characters. Although this was a pot of gold for young Keanu, he still wasn't seen as a professional actor by the industry, who would always associate him with odd indie comedy films. As a matter of fact, when in the early 90s he was cast in high-profile films such as Point Break or Speed, starring famous figures such as Sandra Bullock, he was still still considered an odd casting choice. But he proved everybody wrong by suddenly climbing the ladder to success with one memorable film after the other and with a variety of respectable collaborations. During this time, he starred in My Own Private Idaho alongside late actor River Phoenix and was cast in Bram Stoker's Dracula, a film by none less than Francis Ford Coppola, the director of the Godfather movies, Apocalypse Now, The Great Gatsby, you name it. The 90s were a fortunate time for Reeves, who even ended up starring alongside Al Pacino in The Devil's Advocate, in which he plays a successful lawyer that ends up working for a ruthless law firm, all with a metaphorical and spiritual twist. The film was successful both as a horror film, but also because of the symbolism and allegories scattered throughout the plot, and which made it material of study for many. Keanu Reeves allegedly accepted a low 
lower paycheck in order to actually allow the production to include Al Pacino in the budget. This is just one of the many examples of Reeves either accepting less money for works or donating it to people in need. He has always been very generous with those working around him, donating any time it has been possible and earning him the title of the most generous slash kind actor in Hollywood. His donations haven't only been towards those in the film industry, as the recipients of his donations are also the Sick Kids Foundation, PETA, Stand Up to Cancer, and when his sister Kim was diagnosed with leukemia, he also supported a treatment by donating $5 million. Regardless of his net worth of nearly $400 million, Keanu Reeves has always remained humble, often travelling on public transportation, included crowded underground carriages, on which he has often been spotted giving up his place to those in need. With The Devil's Advocate, Reeves' success was only at the start, as two years later he delivered his most famous role of all time, Neo, in science fiction cyberpunk hit The Matrix. The Matrix is based on the idea that the reality we are living in is just a simulation, The Matrix, and that only a small group of elites, including Keanu's Neo, are able to know, decipher, explore and defeat this system which has been created by machines that have taken over humanity. The film is universally considered one of the best of all time and it has won dozens of awards, including four Oscars, with Reeves' character selected as one of the greatest ever. At this moment in his life, Keanu's career was looking splendid. He was the peak of his life both from a professional and personal point of view, also because him and his girlfriend, Jennifer Syme, were expecting a baby. You couldn't possibly ask for anything more. And that is when everything came to a halt. On Christmas Eve of 1999, Jennifer gave birth, but her child with Keanu was stillborn. The pain of this event was so deep and put such an emotional strain on the couple that they decided to break up their relationship. A while later, Jennifer was driving home alone when she had a massive car accident, which involved her crashing into three parked cars and dying instantly. Authorities found different medications in her car, leading to believe she was driving under the influence. Although there is no way of knowing what happened, Jennifer was allegedly being treated for depression due to the death of her baby and everything that followed. Her loss was a heavy blow for many, with even director David Lynch dedicating his eccentric masterpiece Mulholland Drive to her memory, as she used to work for him. Her death was obviously an even stronger blow for Keanu, who was already suffering for the loss of his child, then the pain of the breakup and now the death of his partner. In addition to this, the world of media was pressuring him, as he was already scheduled to shoot all the sequels to The Matrix back to back, and at the moment he was the biggest star on the scene. With the reporters trying to push him into speaking about this tragedy and about other painful events that happened in his past, this was the first moment in which he understandably decided to take a break to focus on his personal life. The quote sad Keanu joke kept on for many years, and it is still sadly popular today, with dozens of photos just snapped of him in private moments in which he was obviously not happy and wanted privacy circulating on the web, with people just joking about how quirky he is. The break he took back at the time was indeed well needed. When he returned to the big screen, he carried on with one success after the other. After the Matrix sequels, he starred in other box office hits such as horror film Constantine. Here he played a man who has the ability, or curse, to see and interact with the demons and angels living amongst us, and he dedicates his life to maintaining a safe balance between between the two worlds. As many other works in which the actor has starred, there is a deep metaphoric meaning to many of the themes covered by the film, and it allows us to reflect on topics such as religion, morals, the choice in what is right and what is wrong, the afterlife, and so on. In real life, Keanu has often expressed his mixed feelings about religion, stating that he is non-religious but feels that there is some spiritual force out there. He doesn't see God and Satan as we often tend to visualise them, old man with beard and horned creature, but rather feels the matter more as a force. Due to this, he has stated that he feels quite close to the Buddhist views on spiritualism. On the wave of spiritualism and the question on human existence, a few years later, in 2008, Reeves starred as Alien Klaatu in The Day the Earth Stood Still. After this movie began the period of Reeves' life in which he moved from blockbuster Hollywood films to more eccentric works, including very different artistic means of expression. He wrote a picture book for adults called Ode to Happiness, which contains sentences such as, I wash my hair with a regret shampoo, and it can always be worse. He also made a documentary about film being taken over by digital camera technology, and his peculiar artsy phase continued for a while, with his roles in unconventional films such as The Bad Batch, the story of a cannibal community in the middle of a wasteland desert, and The Neon Demon, about when the competition in the world of fashion becomes too intense. Reese's multifaceted career was not shiny all the way though, as his success was also dotted by a period of B-movies, including one which has been universally 
tacitly acknowledged as one of the biggest flops of all time. 47 Ronin, a terribly reviewed samurai story which lost about $152 million. Regardless of this, Reeves continued down his path of work and incessant creation of content, also by directing his own film. The title is The Man of Tai Chi, and it took five years to create. Although it may not be groundbreaking, it was praised by many, including John Woo, the name in the film industry when speaking of action movies. Reeves's big screen blockbuster popularity returned in 2014 when he starred as hitman John Wick in the film of the same name, and in which he trained to perform most of the impressive stunts shown in the film all on his own. Reeves's popularity at the time had became so big that he had different issues with stalkers, with some of which he had very nasty encounters, such as finding a person in his home library and discovering that one fan had crept into his house taken a shower in his bathroom and then swam naked in his pool. But the popularity didn't stop there as John Wick was so successful that it became a trilogy with John Wick 2 and John Wick 3 Parabellum. And as his acting portfolio wasn't complete, in 2019 he voiced the character of stuntman Duke Kaboom in the fourth and final Toy Story film, his third animated role since the TV series adaptation of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures and The Animatrix, a compilation of short films based on the Matrix universe. There is still mystery surrounding Keanu Reeves' future projects, at the moment, only a couple of credits are confirmed. Bill & Ted Face the Music, the third instalment of the Bill & Ted franchise, and then the highly awaited video game Cyberpunk 2077, which draws inspiration from many films such as Blade Runner and Ghost in the Shell. But whatever projects are lined up for Keanu, we just can't wait to see him starring in them. We would also love to hear what is your favourite role from the actor, and what you're excited to see him starring in in the future. So let us know your thoughts with a comment down below. If you want to see more entertaining content about your favourite stars, remember Remember to subscribe and to click the notification button to be updated on all your devices. And if you want to show the world your passion for movies, check out all the movie-inspired merch available in the description box below this video. Get your shirt now and show the world your love for cinema.